Hello, my name is Stefan Schmeinter from Abby, and I'd like to show you how easy it is to get started with the integration of Abby Timeline into the Alteryx analytic process automa automation platform. To get started first, we need to specify our input data source. Now, in this case, I'm uploading a CSV file that contains event data from my inbound logistics supply chain workflow. And thanks to the powerful capabilities of the Alteryx platform, I was able to combine and normalize data from various applications into one unified and comprehensive data set. Next, let's actually add our timeline connector. The configuration of this connector is actually very easy and can be done, can be done within a few seconds, just by simply specifying the server URL and the account name, as well as the password, of course. After successfully connecting to the timeline server, let's see what projects we have available and select the specific project we want to call up on. Now, in order to transform this event-driven data into process-specific business data, what we also call timelines, we need to specify and map th at least three key fields. The overall ID of the process instance, so in this case, maybe the ID that belongs to the product that has been going through all kinds of different steps during the logistics workflow, which we call timeline ID in this case. Then the timestamp, which, well, resembles the timestamp of every single event, as well as the event name. Let's just make sure that our date format has, uh, follows the same structure as the date format in our data source. Okay. And that's basically it. We can easily add additional and optional attributes if we want, but let's leave it as, as is for now. Once we upload the data to timeline, based on these three key attributes, this data is analyzed, interpreted, and then being transformed into business critical process information. To receive these transformed and unified timelines in our Alteryx workflow, let's quickly add an output data activity where we can store, where we receive and store our statistics for further processing. But not only can we use timeline, Timeline's process intelligence technology to understand historical data and to identify and, and enhance our business processes, but once we've optimized these processes, we also want to monitor them in real time. That's why we configured alerts in our Timeline project so that we can get, uh, so, you, so, so that we get notified via webhooks if anything unexpected happens. Let's store these alerts here as well. And the third extraction option we can also add um, would be to add any custom metrics that we might have configured in our um, in our timeline project and save them there as well. After setting up our workflow, let's actually run it and see some of the results. Now, in the background, the, um, what's happening now is these timelines, which are actually 390,000 records, are being uploaded into our timeline platform and are being transformed very fast and being prepared for further analysis and process mining. After the transformation, we immediately receive our desired results in form of the statistics or the alerts so that we can, in our Alteryx platform, continue to process them and further analyze them. Once this is finished, we can immediately see what happened with the, with the event data that we uploaded and after it's being transformed into actual process details.